Lily, come on, let's go do some art. So Ralphie, I thought we could start out today's art lesson by reviewing scissor safety. Oh, I know how to cut my scissors. I know how to do that. Whoa, 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 Ralphie. Just because we're not in school doesn't mean that you can cut like that. You know our scissors rules. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I know the scissors rules. So, hey, you know you said we're not in school. Where are our friends? Ralphie, they're right there. Oh, now I see you. Hi, friends. So, hey, Ralphie, let's go over our scissor safety rules. Well, hey, I know. Hey, friends, can you help me list some scissor safety rules? That's right. They're snorty pants. They are. So what are some of our scissor safety rules? Well, the first thing they said is that we never, ever, ever cut anything that we're not supposed to cut. That's right. We never cut anything that we're not supposed to cut. What's another scissor safety rule? Well, the other scissor safety rule is that we never, ever run with scissors. That's right. We never run with scissors. And when we walk with scissors, well, when we walk with scissors, we hold on the metal cutting part and we walk with handle side up. That's right. So we walk with our scissors just like this. So Ralphie, I think before we start on our project, you need to share with the kids the scissors! I mean scissors! Oh. <laughs> you need to share with them the scissors song! All right, here we go. On the count of three, one, two, three. Open shut, open shut. That's the lily cut, cut, cut. Fingers on the bottom, thumb on top. Do not let your paper drop. <laughs> open shut, open shut. That's the lily cut, cut, cut. Excellent job. So I have a little project that we're going to work on together. And we're going to make our very own movable, talkable Ralphie. Just like me. That's right. So we'll see you in a little bit, kids. So attached to today's lesson, you will find a picture of me. That's right. There's a picture of Ralphie. And what we're going to do is we're going to color it blue. That's right. We'll color it blue just like you. What color is your nose? Green. And those, those are cool colors just like me. I'm pretty cool. And we're going to color Ralphie, and then I'm going to give you some cool directions so we can make Ralphie movable, and we can make him talk. Just like I did. So here you go. Hey, that is pretty nice. And you stayed inside the lines and you colored real hard? I sure did. And so here's our picture of Ralphie. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out with our scissors. Please remember your safety rules. And I'll thin shut. Oh, that shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Fingers on the bottom, thumb on top. Do not let your teeth are drop. Oh, that shut. Oh, that shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. That's right. So we're going to cut out our Ralphies. So remember, as you cut, we can only move our scissors a little bit, but we can move our paper all different directions. And if you need to, you can cut little pieces off and restart anytime you need to. Also, for you little guys, if it's too hard to cut out all those Ralphie hairs, you can have mom and dad help you round those out a little bit with a marker. See how I'm turning my paper. We want to go nice and slow. Remember when we cut with our scissors, we never want them to snap. 
Okay, we always want to cut just a little bit. Okay, so now we have Ralphie all cut out. We're going to do a couple things. First of all, we're going to make him movable. So what we're going to do, it's called an accordion fold. And basically, we're just going to fold his arm back and forth and back and forth. Now, if you notice, this arm doesn't move. But now this arm will move. We're going to do that with all of Ralphie's appendages, arms and legs. Okay, let's move our trash out of the way. We're going to do the same thing with his legs. And just keep, it's called an accordion fold, like I said. Ms. Blanc would love that in art we're using the term accordion. Back and forth and back and forth. My little people are probably going to have to have mom and dad or grandpa and grandma help them with this part. Back and forth. And now, Ralphie's legs move and his arms move. And for the next part, we are going to cut Ralphie's head off. Oh no, don't tell Ralphie! But we're just going to kind of cut a little jiggity jaggity. We're going to get two parts to Ralphie. Okay? Now, we're going to make Ralphie talk like this. You can use all different sorts of things. You might have chip clips at home. You might have a clip like this. You might have a clothespin, or you might have your pincher fingers. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top part of Ralphie, we're gonna take a little tape, or if you wanted to, you could use glue. We're gonna take a little tape, and we're gonna roll it up like so. And we're gonna put part of Ralphie on the top, part of Ralphie on the bottom. So we need to kind of line it up, put our tape on there, put Ralphie on. You might need to put a little bit of extra tape on. So I'm gonna tape them a little bit on the handle, like that. And I'm also gonna tape them a little bit in the mouth of the clothespin. So I'm going to open up my clothespin and put a little tape in there like that. Okay, so right now we have them looking like that. I'm going to try and sometimes if our tape's not working quite the way we want it to, we just take a new piece. We can do that like this. If mom and dad are helping you and they wanted to use some glue, some like some hot glue. That would be something mom and dad would have to do. So now we have part of Ralphie, but now we need the top part of Ralphie. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with the top piece of Ralphie. And we're gonna tape that part onto the top of the clothespin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of tape here This way, sorry. And then I'm gonna open up my clothespin. I'm gonna put that part on like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Open up the clothespin. Put it on Rolfy. Wrap it around. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that on both sides you put some tape but don't go on the, don't close your clothespin. You wanna keep it open, okay? So, goes like this, and then you have a movable, talkable Ralphie. Hey, that little Ralphie looks really neat. I know, isn't it cool? It is, it is. Look, watch. Hey, I'm Ralphie. Look at me. Oh my goodness, let me see if I can try. Hey, I'm Ralphie.
Seriously, look at me. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed a little art lesson by me and Mrs. Scooter, and I hope you're having fun hanging out in your TJs. Have a great day. Hey kids, one last thing. Yeah, if you would like to share your little Ralphies, feel free to have your mom and dad take a picture and share it on Facebook or share it in Mrs. Cooper's email. Until next time, have a great day and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Brody Cooper, and I would just like to say after the credits, stay tuned for some bloopers of Miss Cooper and Ralphie. <laughs> I forget what I'm doing. The Scissors Song! <laughs> what is the matter with me? <laughs> the dog keeps licking my toes! <laughs> So, Ralphie, I thought we could start our own lesson. <laughs> so, Ralphie, I thought that we could start out our lesson by remember a re blah, blah, blah.